Welcome to the channel. I got a video of my own footage playing in the background just so you can have something to look at instead of this. While I ramble on about 10 things that I enjoy about the game thus far. It's just a first impression review, not an in-depth review. I don't do good with those. Number one, the roster has over 70 fighters. There's a lot of games sometimes, whether it's golf, tennis, or any other sport where there's like real people, sometimes it could be lackluster, like in the newest top spin game, okay? For tennis. Number two, 16 copyright free music for streamers and uploaders. Do you know how rare that is? Normally when you put streamer mode on, what happens? You have no music, that's all it does. It turns off the music. You might as well just go to the music and just drag it down to zero. This one gives you a plethora, a cornucopia of music that you can use and you don't have to worry about nothing. Look at Fluffy Nugget there. He's about to get knocked his ass out. Get his ass knocked out. Whatever. Number three, the game plays offline without internet. Whether it's Tiger Woods 2K, whether it's the EA PGA Golf, whether it's the tennis game, again, sports games, NBA 2K, you want to do the, the whole, like, my career thing? You need an online connection. You don't with this. You don't. It's great. Number four. That was number three, by the way. Number four. There's five game modes, including two career paths with ten save slots. Again, this is something that not a lot... I think, I think he's out. That's me, by the way. Um, you got ten slots... That's awesome because maybe you'll want to play different weight categories. Maybe you'll want to create like a couple of different boxers. And what's really cool is you can use a licensed boxer. So you want to be uh, the wilder? You can do that. Normally, not always something you can do. Even if you compare to a game like 2K24 Wrestling and you do the career path, you can't choose an already established likeness of a professional wrestler. So this, for me, is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Number five, four different camera angles. Not exactly something that you'll get from what I remember in a lot of these kinds of games. I think UFC 5 gives you, like, a couple. I don't think they give you four. Uh, so that's cool. Number six, quite a few different venues. 20 of them in total, and that's including gyms as well that you're going to be fighting in, okay? You've got four different uh, difficulty settings to choose from so that you can find something that is appropriate for you. That's going to be a good challenge. The gameplay physics with the punch contacts are really, really nice. So just like overall the gameplay, like in terms of the physics again and the punches connecting, uh, what's really good is it's really rare that you're going to get any kind of clipping or any like weird wonky animation. It's just really well done. And as you can tell here, you can't spam either. So this feels more like a simulation game because you will tire out so radically fast. And, and even the haptic feedback on your controller when you're punching, it's, it, it, it's going to be like hitting somebody with a wet... <laughs> Sorry, I even laughed in my own video. Like uh, hitting somebody with a wet ramen noodle. But, um, oh man. <laughs> Sorry. Two times he got knocked the fuck out. It's just good fun. It really is. So you really got to like move around and block and time your punches, do some combos. You really got to pace yourself. Whereas in UFC five, you don't have to as much because it's more arcadey, at least in my opinion. So again, when it comes to the gameplay, if you've played the UFCs and you've played the boxing mode, okay, this doesn't feel the same at all as UFC five in a good way. And it also, not per my experience, but other people that I have watched that I trust that have played the early access, this doesn't look or feel like the early access in a good way. Okay? So this has dramatically improved. Career mode has some good depth. You pick your team. When you're training, you could pick your fights. Uh, you can negotiate. 
how much money it's going to be. You can join different gyms. You can choose if you want to lose weight, like if you want to cut, if you're getting out of shape. Do you want to work on your skipping, which will help with your, you know, your cardio and your flexibility? Do you want to work on your jabs or your uppercuts, like the ones I'm feeding this fluffy nugget? Uh, all that stuff. So it, it's just, it's good. It's fun. And, and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah. And then number 10, there might be an 11, but number 10, the boxers likenesses are very well done. Like when you look at their real life counterparts and pictures, you're like, oh yeah. Okay. I see. I see who that's supposed to be. Right now, the graphics themselves, I personally don't think are like, whoa, right? Like they're not going to blow your compression socks off of your feet, but it's not an ugly game. As far as I know, this is also a current gen only title because the PS5 and the Xbox series now, that shit's been out for almost half a decade. It's not next gen. Bitch, it's current gen. It's current gen. Next gen is PS6 and Xbox Series X to the power of two. Okay? Now for 11. Performance. I didn't type that in there. This, this was my cheat sheet. Performance is actually pretty decent. Like, and, and that encompasses like glitches. So funny enough, I came across a glitch here. Where the, the boxer just stopped basically reacting. And, and I had gone into like this weird, like funky slow-mo and he just like stood there and took a shellacking. And then he ended up getting his ass knocked out. The timer went and spaghetti legs, ramen noodle legs for sure. Mushroom flavored. Mm. Anyways. Yeah. So that was the only glitch that I got. So all I had to do was back out, go back into the game, and I was fine. You could totally tell here by looking at the footage that there's just something not normal here. Oh, and to go back with the physics, sorry. No two hits are the same. So when you watch your opponent get knocked down and fall, it's not going to be again, yes, to go there like UFC. They're, they're, they're never going to fall the same twice. And I just think that whole element of the simulation is great. Again, my game is glitched here. So again, that goes with how well the game is performing. I'll still say that it's performing really well. I maybe once or twice in a five or six minute match will have one or two little nano second legs. I don't know what this is, but it'll just kind of give you a little a little bit of a hiccup in the leg with the FPS. Uh, but aside from that for day one, even though <laughs> I was just showing that I could keep punching and nothing was happening at the timer, you could see it, it said zero and, and it's stuck there. I'm sure they're going to patch that. Uh, but overall, I'm glad that I took the advice of the two people that I had never heard of until yesterday that have covered this game with the review and were like severely hyped. They got a good amount of followers. So I don't think they were just trolling and pretending to like the game when they didn't, uh, this to me, and especially from a small developer, I think this is their first attempt at a boxing game. We haven't had a real boxing game in what, what is it, like 14 years? Okay. So does this replace Fight Night? No, because it's completely different. It's going to feel different. And truthfully, this is going to be a controversial take. This is going to be more controversial than saying you like Trump or don't like Trump. I prefer this over Fight Night. Take it as you will. Take, okay? Like, for real. Oh, man, my video is done here. So you could do with that what you want. Everybody's going to be different. If I was forced, if I was absolutely forced to be like, what's one flaw of the game? It would be that for some reason, and I don't know what it is, as much as I love this game, I do feel like it's overpriced. There's just a little too much. Maybe I'm just being a cheap ass, but I, I feel like like I paid $120 Canadian for this, for the for the deluxe edition. I think it was like $90 Canadian, almost a hundred bucks. For the standard. So that's like 70-ish. You know. Dollars American. I, I just feel like a little $20 cheaper. Like to me. For the deluxe with taxes and Canadian dollars. 
should have been like $90, $80 in my humble opinion. So there's a lot of games in Canadian dollars that are uh, 53 49 which is a very odd number, and I think that works out to like $39.99 US. And I'm not saying it's not deserving because like the character customization all that, like there's some good depth. But without being able to quite put my finger on it, it still feels like for what you're getting, which is decent, just feel like it's a little too much money. When you're when you're spending the same amount of money on on games like uh you know, The Witcher 3 and GTA and Red Dead Redemption and all these games with crazy stories like Silent Hill and all that. I know this is different because it's a sports game, but in terms of, like, the whole package, I'm just being honest. If I was to force myself to pick something negative, it's the price for what you're getting. That's it. Buy a few bucks, okay? So that's enough rambling. Hopefully this wasn't a waste of a video. It, again, it was just a first impression review. My my take on the game for literally just that, not an in-depth. I'm rambling and making this video long enough that you would think it was in-depth, but it ain't. <laughs> There's not much depth. Okay? So thumbs up if you did like the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and trying to make my ass more relevant in the search results when people are looking stuff up on the internet. You didn't like the video. That's fine. Go ahead. Give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it. And I'll just break it off inside here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be fantastic. But if not, trust me, I don't blame you. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.